I'm going to attempt to 3D scan this car, but I don't have a 3D scanner. So what I have sticky taped to the back of the laptop here is an Intel L515 depth camera. This is a LiDAR camera that can actually see distance as well as just car like a normal camera. It does this by shining a laser out. The laser reflects back to it and it times how long that takes and then it can tell how far away the item it's shining the laser at. You can see here it's showing you the different color based on the depth and then you can also overlay the color camera on top of that. So the problem with using a laser for it is the laser can't see anything that it can't reflect off or that reflects it too much. So it won't see black and it won't see windows and headlights and it won't see really glossy colours. So the plan is cover the car in baby powder to make it like a matte white colour and then be able to just hose it off when I'm done. The problem with that is the baby powder doesn't like spread nicely. So what I'm going to do is try and mix it with a window cleaner and hopefully I can spray it on and then the window cleaner dries and I get a nice even coating. So we'll give that a test. So I have no idea what ratios to mix this at or like whether it's going to work or not but we'll do an experiment and see if it works. You can actually buy a special powder for doing this but it's expensive so this is cheaper. That's my mix, I just shook it up to see if it leaves like a nice even coating. You can see where I was just shaking it on, it's all like lumpy and crap. So we'll give this a test. It's nice and um, it's nice and sunny at the moment so it should dry into a powder pretty quickly. Hopefully it washes off otherwise I've kind of ruined my car but I've just painted it. Okay, so now that it's drying, that actually looks pretty good. It does just like, whoa, it doesn't actually, it, uh, it doesn't wipe off as easy as I was hoping. It might just hose off. I might actually add some more talcum powder to it because I'm gonna run out of, um, I'm gonna run out of this very quickly. So I actually ran out of window cleaning stuff because I got a bit carried away. I did that car, this car, the engine bay, this car, and I did my scooter, which is inside. I filled it up with water because I ran out of cleaning the window spray. Water works just as well, it just takes longer to dry. So I had a bit of a play that last night, but I had to drive the car to work and wash it. So what I've done this time to reapply it is the window cleaner and the talcum powder. I put it in my actual like a paint spray gun, not my good one, a cheap one, but it worked way better. So once the sun goes down, we'll get the computer and we'll actually have a look at scanning it. Works way better in the dark, I found out last night. Okay, so the program I've got open on the computer is called Recfusion. I did try hard to find some free software that would do a good job, but I really couldn't. So I think it's worth getting this. I bought the license second hand. So basically what you can see is in the top left, I have the color camera, which is just a normal camera. The bottom left, I have the LiDAR depth camera. And then on the right, I have the composite image of what it thinks the two put together look like. So I can actually grab that image on the other side and like look around it, rotate it, because that's the actual 3D picture. So the way this works is the area in the green is the area that's getting scanned. The area in the blue, you can see, but it's ignoring. So you can see how talcum powder has made the car easy to see. You can see the headlight, you can see the windscreen. If I walk over this little truck over here, you can see that the headlights and the windscreen aren't there because they're clear, you can just see straight through them. Same as if I go over here to my camera, the camera's missing because it's black, so it doesn't reflect the laser and the camera can't work. It can actually see the shadow of the camera, but it can't see the camera. So that's why we've done the talcum powder. It makes the whole car show a lot easier. So we'll scan the front half of the car. We can move our box around and change the size of it to fit the car. I think that actually looks pretty good. Looks like the car should fit in there nicely. So I don't want all the colors because the color would be useful if you were making like a model for a game or something, but I just want it from like a technical measurement point of view. So we'll turn the color off, save some computing power. Go start construction, and you can see it's now scanning the front of the car. Slowly walk around the car carrying the laptop, and we'll make sure we're pointing it at different angles, point it up, point it down, and it'll just slowly measure each individual point on the car with the laser and start building a 3D model on it. As it gets up inside the wheel arch, and it does a pretty impressive job. It'll pick up all the suspension, like the coil for the spring, it'll get all the stuff in the front of the wheel arch. I'll do this for a few minutes. And then I'll come back. Alright, so that's basically our 3D scan finish. Just click done and it comes up with this. We've got the front half of our car. You can see I'd sort of run out of talcum powder on this window here, so it's a bit bubbly looking. But the ones where, like the headlights especially, where I was going good with the talc, it looks good. Now there's a heap of stuff down the side here that allow you to smooth it and fill holes in and do all sorts of stuff. We're going to leave that. If you were trying to 3D print it or make like a nice, nice looking model, you'd have to go through and tidy it up. All we're going to do is we're just going to save it as is and then transfer it on the computer along with the back half that I scanned and we'll assemble it into a full car. So the program I've just moved to is called Cloud Compare. This is a free program. This is what we're going to use to join the parts of the car together. So I'll open the front that we scanned before. 
There's our front half of the car and our rear half. There they are, the other bit's more of the middle part, but you can see there. So what I'm gonna do is just move the middle part to where it's supposed to be roughly. And then to get the two parts aligned, we just select both of them. And there's a tool here specifically for aligning things like this. So we picked one we don't want to move. And then we just go around and I say, I'll pick the back of the indicator on this one. And then I'll, and then I'll pick the back of the indicator on this one. I don't know, I have to click it like a hundred times sometimes. But basically you just go around and pick a bunch of spots, go to the front of the mirror. I'll do the top of the windscreen here where the withers, where the gutter ends. You need a minimum of three of these points, but the more you chuck on there, the better. We just press align and there you go. It joins it straight together for us. So it doesn't really get any easier than that. So once you've done that, it comes up here and you can see the scale had to be adjusted by 1.002%. So it's pretty much both scans are bang on. It's happy with it. it says it's a good match. So I'll chuck the back part of the car on and then we'll refine it a bit further. So now that our cars all clean up into one bunch, there is a hole in the top of the roof here where I didn't actually scan that part of the roof in any of the scans. So if you were trying to do this properly, you'd go back outside and scan the roof as a separate bit and add it in. So I've opened Fusion now after we've saved the car, finished smoothing out the car in that other program in Cloud of Call of Duty. Anyway, this is it now. Here it is. So the biggest thing you can see, I uh, probably could have cleaned some of these edges up a bit better, but it's close enough. The biggest thing between this using the lidar camera and using photogrammetry or something is this is all to scale so if i make something that fits on this model if i then removed it and put it like 3d printed or plasma cut it'll fit directly on the car so i guess this full model of the car isn't super useful for mechanical stuff unless you were doing something like i don't know making a body kit if you were going to do something like an engine conversion which is sort of the main thing i got this camera for if I was going to do an engine conversion, what I'd be able to do is, because it's dimensionally accurate, I can get the car, scan the engine bay, I can get the engine, scan it, and then I can put them together in the program, work out how the engine will fit, work out if it's going to like hit parts or contact anything, work out where all my clearances and everything are going to be, and then draw up all the brackets, and then once I plasma cut the parts out, or make the parts however, they should in theory all fit directly onto the car, because everything should be dimensionally accurate. So, there's a very, very crude wide body. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, that's how you scan the car. That's the basics getting it started. You'll be seeing the 3D scanner in a lot more videos to come because you know, I've got a lot of plans for it, which should be cool. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, I'm aiming for a thousand subscribers. So, make sure you're subscribed. I'm too hard to talk while I'm playing with the computer at the same time. But anyway, I'll see everybody on the next video. Thank you very much and goodbye.